Although the words protein and polypeptide can be used interchangeably because a polypeptide, an individual chain of amino acids, is a protein, there's actually much more behind protein structure. There are four levels of protein structure. Primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Oh, I mean, just when you think it's gonna be easy. The primary structure of a protein is the unique sequence of amino acids that the polypeptide chain is composed of. The hormone insulin, a protein, consists of two polypeptide chains. The amino acid cysteines R group, sulfhydryl, forms disulfide bonds, connecting and shaping the pair of polypeptides. Note that the sequence of amino acids in chains A and B are unique to insulin. The secondary structure of a protein is the local folding of specific regions. Most commonly, we'll see the alpha helix and the beta pleated sheet, which are held together by hydrogen bonds. The tertiary structure of a protein, formed by chemical reactions between R groups, is the three-dimensional structure. Ionic bonds, disulfide bonds, hydrogen bonds, and hydrophobic interactions all influence the 3D structure. How exactly can proteins get more complex? Well, some proteins are so complex that they're formed from multiple polypeptide chains, where the polypeptide chains become the subunits. This is called the quaternary structure. Ultimately, every protein has its own unique sequence of amino acids and shape. 